Welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming. Uh, here we are today, part of Ninja November, um, playing Turtles 2, the arcade game, uh, on the NES. Doing it the way it's supposed to be done, we've got me, Easy, Mr. C here, two advantages. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's the joystick controller for the NES. And we're about to get down on some good co-op arcade fun. I'm taking Donatello again. Uh, that's what we did. So we had just played uh, Play the third on! Turtles on the NES. Uh, so check that complete out too. We, we had a lot of fun. We actually didn't remember that one being as long, and it really kind of got us thinking about Turtles 2. And uh, now we're kind of doing this, kind of want to compare. As we were kind of saying in our other video, uh, this one almost has better graphics and, and background and stuff because I think it comes directly based on the uh, arcade port. And I don't think the other one is an arcade team project. Yeah. So you guys can fact check me or whatever and let me know if I'm correct or not, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that this and Turtles in Time, you know, they're more based on like an arcade cab than the Manhattan project, so. Probably the same for the Hyperstone Heist. I don't think it has its own. Hyperstone Heist has its own game. That's what make, might make it so good. Didn't get a chance to play that one. I had a chance to get it at one point, but. <laughs> You know, loose cart, thirty dollars at the time seemed high, but now it's just like seems like a great price to pay for it, right? <laughs> right. Look how uh, low the point totals are. You get like a point per guy. Uh huh. You know, I think you do have to still get to a hundred to get like a free guy. Something outrageous. Uh -huh. The balls hurt you a lot worse than this one too. As you were saying, it, it we were playing F Turtles Three on the NES. Really good game. Real friendly. Yeah, their, their friendly fire was on and that, you could turn it off. I don't know, they almost just feel like completely different games, even though they look the same. Yeah, we... The characters actually look closer than I, I remember. I, I I thought they were a little bit more enhanced on this one, but... They're, they're pretty close. I think what it might be is the graphics are a little better, and so it makes the, the sprites stand out and make them kind of look worse, maybe. Like, whereas these guys, they look... They fit the rest of the graphics. Yeah. So you can't really tell that they're... Yeah, you think they were not as polished. Maybe overboard or something? I think so, yeah. That, that's just, you know, first-hand look here. Because it is the actual, it's the only Nintendo Turtles game that has the Konami name instead of the Ultra name, even though they're basically uh, subsidized. As far as we tell, the same company. Yeah. Same and publisher or whatever. Developer and publisher or whatever. Nothing like playing some co-op beat 'em up on the Nintendo. No, this is this the is, way uh, to go. Look at that Pizza Hut. <laughs> I just think we want some pizza. In the shot, aren't they making like a comeback or something? I what hope so, man. I love that stuffed crust pizza. Some good stuff. Plus, that was the sponsor of the turtles in the movies. That was the pizza they got. I don't know if I can take guys on this one. Um, <laughs> so if you watch our other one, it, it, the uh, Turtles Three, it takes a lot of resource management. As where I'm sure this game does, because your your life that you get back and stuff is is not very often. So no, there's like, not a lot of pizza, unfortunately. So it's kind of like if I die right here, you know, it's almost like he needs to take the helm, <laughs> uh, so I don't lose a life early. Because if I can, you know, make it to a pizza or something, that'll change the game. It's like getting an entire bar of life. Ooh. They really stink it out of my You do have a jump move, if you, if you can see I did there. It's both buttons, both buttons, both buttons, kind of thing. Or you get a jump kick, or you got a swing. So you got about three different moves. Oh, the dizzy. I want to say that this one, the fighting in this one is a lot better. I mean, you, you have This feels more, more like a fighting stuff. game. Yeah, like the other one. Absolutely. I don't know, it's a little like. Just the mechanics, like they, it was like to make it harder, they did shit like make it uh, back up from you and shit. Right. And this one, it's like everything's fighting you. Yeah. If anything, it's gonna be like count like too many mobs. Oh, I thought you get away. Stupid shit like that. You're just like. So far, I haven't seen the lag yet either. Uh, there was a little bit of lag in three when there were what two were we sprites. Saying, like five, six guys. So. Yeah, six or seven sprites all on the screen at once, plus weapons firing and stuff like that. It would get really laggy. 
Uh, I haven't noticed that yet on this. <laughs> yeah, keep, we can do some more different tactics because we can actually be close to each other. Yes. As to where in the other one, we had to constantly worry about friendly fire. <laughs> and this is the first boss you face in Turtles 3 as well, right? Oh, same mechanic. Yeah, except oh. for he does the stuff a little longer and shit like that. So that's where you almost feel kind of, you know, the same. You're like, what the fuck? Oh, I, I feel like the... Uh, from what I remember playing the last time I did play this, the bosses in this are like, no joke. The bosses are tough. It's almost like, you know, we have to use the same kiting technique. Yeah, they're like... Less tidy, I feel like they're, they cause damage. Like all they the turn, time. they aggro right away off of one hit. Or the other one, they follow you for a determined amount of time. Almost. Yeah, you could tie it a little bit more. Tank or something. Ah! This is the end all be all. This is kind of the way I remember having to beat this game. Is you had to do the cheesy inward jump kicking, like you know, kind of thing. I can't even get it together right away that time. We should get full life after this fight. Oh, oh man. He's gotta almost be dead. Yeah, it's close. Oh, no. There it is. Yeah, that's how you do it. You both keep a life. Oh, we gotta fight Super Shredder? Right out the gate? Oh, no, that's not Super Shredder. Look at that. those cutscenes. Dude, money. Look at that April. That is money. Come back! Full life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this so... Uh, if, I don't know, if you are, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of people out there retro gaming that, that didn't even necessarily play these games originally or grow up in that era, which is also really cool. I mean, I'm just glad people are playing these uh, awesome games, you know? It's like when we used to play something of our brothers or something like uh -huh. that, you know, it's kind of like, it's neat that, that uh, it's actually like coming to that point, but, but for those of you who lived uh, through this era, ever, this is probably like the most... Uh, like, the level you remember. This one where they th you can hit uh -huh. them this day, I mean... Bust up in the fire hydrant. <laughs> this is the most, like, common level I mean, you know? Like, you've had just enough quarters to at least get uh -huh. to this level and play on it. Uh, arcade style, like, I just remember hitting the things back at them, breaking the hydrants, uh... When the guys come out, yeah, they come out of the sewer, throw that at you, oh yeah. There's like, this is where the pizza's up here, and the signs and the drop and stuff, it's like, I don't know. They're total nostalgia for me right now. Isn't this the one we were speaking about earlier, like, how the Turtles 3 on the NES isn't an arcade port of any kind, it was just created. Yeah, that's what, uh, yeah. This was the one we used to play at, like, Waterworks Park, right? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. This is, yeah, Turtle, this is, it was just called Turtles. I don't even think it was Dynamite. called the arcade game. I think that was just part of the port. Right, it was yeah. just turtles. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what's reminding me of this being like. Dude, no, no, that's the one. The four dripping player. wet, like sitting here playing this game, running uh, back and forth with slides and stuff. And, and put it in those quarters, dude. <laughs> yep. Playing wrestling. Four play wrestling. Could you imagine this four players? I'm sure there's an emulated version of it out there somewhere that lets you play four players. How the hell are we supposed to get that? Oh. I guess we save it or something? Oh. Fight the mobs and then... Get it? I don't know. Trying to say. They're up here. They're protecting their pizza, though. Come get some. Why are there only one? Why do they have to make us choose? I don't know. Oh, hey, who's that? Is that April? Uh, I wonder what if... was that? Like, I wonder if I could have uh, gotten a pizza out of her or something. <laughs> <laughs> Why would she have a pizza? Yeah, why not? It's like a big bosomed lady riding a skateboard. Like, oh, it might God. have been like a scooter. Oh, was it a scooter? I, I don't remember. To be honest, I don't remember that ever happening. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure. But it could have. I think mean, there was a lot of stuff happening in there. We didn't really necessarily pay a lot of attention to. <laughs> I love that like, I'm busting out of there. Doesn't seem like the best strategy just to attack your enemy. Just jumping out of a two-story building. Uh, through broken glass on the concrete. So that's another thing. I, I don't know. I thought I remembered uh, pizzas and all that stuff like coming often. Oh, uh, in the you know like the arcade version or something. And this is like oh. in in the Manhattan Project and this game. Like there are hardly any. 
Uh, that was the first one in two levels, and it was only one. I thought there was one here. That's what I always. This is the sign, right? Yeah. Watch out for that. Pizza Hut. <laughs> they delivered. Do some of that deep dish. Why is pizza so delicious? I wonder if it's because we grew up watching this show and they all they did was eat pizza. So they're just like, all we want is pizza. Give us that pizza. Right? It makes you wonder. Because <laughs> you wonder how much. Yeah, how it worked. And well, I mean, that, and that just blossomed from there. So that, that went to like, we love pizza so much that we're ordering giant Caesars and going to the first one video. If anybody out there remembers giant Caesar, let us know. Because that is like our all time favorite pizza. And if you guys are. <laughs> If you're the local crew here in, in, in uh, <laughs> Redding or Northern California, if you remember First Run Video, that... Oh, man. I, I know some people that do remember, they talk about it, what was it like? The, was great. The, the five... <laughs> like, the games where you Five bucks, off. five days, five dollars, yeah, whatever. Like, it was these five games. games that we could, like, you just pick all sorts of classes. I guess they were new at the time, almost, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's that damn Beamery thing. Oh, I gotta watch out for that. Some boss fights, we're getting serious. Speaking of... Dude, what was the next best thing to the... That we found to the big... To the Giant Caesar? It was the Big Vinny, right? That was the only other, like, pizza to come close to that. Yeah, but I don't think anything was ever as close. Nothing is a Big Caesar. Because they even had another pizza after that, but it wasn't the Giant Caesar. It was called something else. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they have like the Bigfoot. They all sorts. Of yeah, the Bigfoot just was no Giant Caesar. They tried to trick us. Giant and tell Caesar us. was like a large pizza cut into four slices. That's all it is. But it's just amazing. Whatever it was, though, they gave you like some kind of maybe it was cheese or the sauce or something they used. Getting that much cheese blasted in your face from a giant slice. <laughs> maybe it was just the time. Maybe because at the time we were doing really cool stuff. So I just remember, the, you know, the Giant Caesar is the greatest thing ever. Beating epic games and breaking out. Get out of there, get out of there. Ah, get him. He's coming for me, Marv. Ah, that's okay. Get him. Of course. Dang it. I got distracted by the love of pizza. I got a three continues, so. Let's see what we can do. I wonder if this has as many stages as the other one. The no, Turtles 3 was long. Sure had too many stages, like eight, it, nine it stages. It really was. It was that's a lot. Too many. It was, I mean. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like I I don't know. Tur it, I mean, Turtles Three is kind of a little rare, but I can see why it's not like an expensive rare or anything, you know. I mean, it, oh, I was thought it was you. <laughs> That's the problem of being Donatello and uh, Leonardo. They're too close to the same. Wow. I was like sitting there, probably just taking fucking cameras. <laughs> hey, you were. Well, what's going on, man? And again, I have not noticed the lag. Uh, there's a little bit of separation, you know, if there's too many guys on the screen. Yeah. We start to kind of like disappear, but... Uh, yeah, other than that, I haven't noticed any lag. Yeah, you gotta take second hit. <laughs> but you, you can't hit them when they're first out, right? No, yeah, I can hit them once out of there. Oh, I see. And then you have to hit them with a finisher because they take a time. These guys are tough enemies in this game. They can be, yeah. That's what I was saying, they're actually fucked up. See, it's weird that our, our points are carried over. Did they now? Okay, so that's interesting. Maybe it's not as hard to get a free guy as we thought, and it'll come at a better time now. Because we were basically done right there anyway, right? We had yeah, no for... guys, really. We maybe could have beat another stage. Well, I was curious. See, I was... Yeah, I really didn't want you to die, but, uh, I know. That was bad on my part. Probably cost I, us I, to complete. Uh, Go ahead and say it now. I wanted to, I was to see if I could get a, what it took to get a free guy, because I wanted to see if you could actually steal. I didn't have any guys. True. So you couldn't, like, you know. It did say game over pretty hardcore in my face right there. <laughs> yeah, right? It was like, you lose. You suck. Which, which we were talking about on, uh... Especially on Nintendo, it's just an early thing, I guess. They had such a, uh, I feel like maybe everything was always tested set. as as one player and all right. that stuff, so they don't realize that, I mean, when you're running things co-op, it's like, it is just a different thing. Well, yeah, and then you wouldn't be able to do stuff like this solo either, like, you, these guys would probably be a lot harder to kill. 
This <laughs> just seems like whacking moles right here. What a classic game, whack a mole. <laughs> I don't know. This it's hard to say. We, the fact that we just played number three and then played this, and we kind of did it in the reverse order. I don't know. I'm almost feeling like this is a more well-made game overall. Oh yeah. That's uh, what I was. That's what I was gonna say. It like three had better music. I want to say, although this music is is good. It just seemed to have more depth. This one's a lot more tony almost. See the other one though. I don't. They never put more than the five sprites. It seems like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here we go. What if you can go down in that water? I don't want to try. Oh, they can go down there. Am I not hitting them? No, I'm not hitting them. So it's the track, and that's again on these, that's what makes these enemies so difficult, is the, the tracking on them is non-existent. You have to hit them in the exact right spot, or you can sit there and glitch them out all day. I like how they look at you when you're like, hey, hurry up. Now, there are a lot of beat-em-ups available in the 8 and 16-bit era. I mean, I almost want to say it feels like there's more platformers, probably, but there are quite a lot of beat-em-ups. And... What is this, a mini-boss? It's probably like an easy boss. Uh, just jump in here. <laughs> See, the, that's weird, too, because the one in the... Uh -oh. uh, in the yeah, other, the third, every single, like, boss has, like, jump kick, adds, um, like, protection. Yes. And shit, it was like crazy. So it just... It, it almost makes it a grindy game. What? Three? Yeah. Like, oh, very. you have to fight the guys, like, they'll just try to cheat their ways. Like, I mean, this is cheap too, but at least we're attacking. Right. The whole time. We're you know, jump kicking. We're just using a, a, a given attack. It's like, they take that away from you, they're like, so you have to creep up, poke them three times, Dodge his uh -huh. three different mechanics and like do that. And, like, yeah, it's more like a raid boss rather than a freaking yeah. just fight. You're right. This is, feels a lot more like a fighting game. That's kind of what I was getting at with all the different beat em ups out there. Uh, that's the differences that can make a great beat em up and a <laughs> See, decent beat em up. We each other guy. That's not probably true. We didn't, lose, we a didn't lose a guy there either. I know. I just meant. It. Ooh, look at that. There's the fly guy you were talking about. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you the classic line. <laughs> Tonight I dine on turtle soup. Dude, this is this is good. <laughs> Let's melt snow. All right, this goes well with the time of year right Dude, now too. This um is is awesome, really. Uh, this is the guys come out of the snow. Oh, got hit in the head. They like jump out of like the snow and stuff later on. And can't you get like slatted against the screen or whatever with a snowball? Or is that this one? Or is that turtles in time? I'm I guess turtles in time. Oh, okay. It's where, because you can do that, the, da the throw, and you can throw the guys in the yeah. screen and stuff. Well, I thought there was something in this one for Mr. Plow! What the hell, you mean twice? Mr. Plow. That's the name. So, name again. There it is, yeah, right there, watch Mr. out for that. Those are the ones you gotta watch out for. Oh, the snowman, even! Dude, what is happening right now? This is epic. Like, snowman shooting missiles at me? What the? Oh, I see. Because they're robots in disguise. I almost want to fall down one of those, but I never. Know. I don't think you do. I think it might take like all of your life. That's why I'm worried. I mean, it's good. It's like if a you really cool. want to. What the hell kind of mob is this? Messed up. Oh, more? <laughs> Cheap them out. Guys were dead. Yeah, they're fucked up. Another, uh, another thing that can kill. I forget what game I was. It might have been Double Dragon Three that we were playing on Sega, the Sega oh, Genesis version. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wipe out. Yeah, I heard you. A couple bars, I think. Uh, but it just, it felt like there was no rhyme or reason to the ads, and it, it kind of, I don't know, it took away from the experience. Yeah. Um, this feels a lot more Force. planned. Yeah, for, like, a, we're like, oh, we're just putting random stuff on the screen, and then you fight a boss. 
You know, I don't know. This one's theming more. Uh, seems like it's theming better. We had snowmen and the snow level, and you know, yeah, shot missiles, so cool. and just like you the, can fall down the snow the hole like that. Yeah. Sewer guys and stuff. I have a little. Oh, I did not need that. Robot dog guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, again, he's gonna hit me again, dude. <laughs> what the hell? Like those laser guys. They're just throwing snowballs at this. Thing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I think they hit you with the snowball and it like gets on your face. And you like shake your face and look at the screen. Oh, dude, this is yeah, that. It might be this. It might be this one. See if it is. Oh, no, you just kept sorting it down. That's good. There it was. 200 points. Alright. Oh, no. Five. So these guys, you just shoot them out on the screen, edge of the screen, and they die. Ah, but they're not as easy as you think. Oh man, I gotta have another missile. Double guys? Jeez. No! I wonder if they can land on you. Seems like they could, because of the... You just gotta be aggressive on these guys, otherwise they... Yeah, you don't wanna get them. You don't wanna be non-aggressive, that's for sure. He's not dead. Oh, he's dead. Man, we need, you need a pizza, bro. Go watch out. Yeah, these will get you every time. Oh, he got me every time. Ah! Oh, man. Watch out for Mr. Plow coming too. Yeah, Shit! This is not fair! I was trying to hit me about it. See, he's running away a little bit. Maybe not as bad, though. I guess maybe it's just the... They, they didn't really start doing it until the later levels. So maybe that's just the programming. Yeah. High elf tactics. Yeah. Watch out, you One hit, huh? You think there's a pizza coming up? Maybe. I can fight for a little. Fight them? Oh, man. This, this can't be good. Oh, who's this guy? He's like a polar bear in a leather yeah. jacket. Oh, and he's gonna throw rocks? I do think I remember him. I definitely remember him from this game. Maybe we tweak him out somehow by me not hitting him. Well, because he's supposed to be catching there. I am getting hit, but... Oh, he killed myself. Oh, we killed each other, so... Uh, I think we did a lot of damage on him. I think so. One guy just kind of has to pull his heat in the corner. Just have to get him to try to proc that over in the corner and then wreck him. That's the one. Yeah, you do take a little bit of damage, but it's worth it. I don't need to take another hit or another death. The slasher. What is that device right there? Is that what's creating all the snow? He's coming after me, bro. He's, he's throwing rocks at me. Get him. He's tracking me. Yes! That's how you do it! Oh, it's Brothers Forge. Damn, dude, that was, that was gaming. Don't worry, you just kicked that, broke it. That's I did. Why, yeah, that's why I was freezing the city. I knew it. This oh, one is way better put together, dude. Hey, the other one felt really random, right? Yeah. Damn it, my cord is trapped. Oh yeah, you can hit those. You got a free guy coming too. Oh baby, wait, wait for it. Oh, there. Yeah, I got him. And see, I think pizzas hide under those. We may have been missing stuff by not really paying attention, but... Nah, I tried to knock everything. You just tried to knock everything? Yeah. Watch out, I think some of these cars back out and kill us. I don't think they back out, but I think the door's open. What game was that we were playing? Oh god, those blow up though. Oh yeah, they do. What was it with the car that kept backing out? We were playing something that was super fucking irritating. It was like, uh, Zombies Ain't My Neighbors or something. Do you, know, do you remember what I'm talking about? Uh, I kept getting hit that? by a car, and I would made me want to like stop playing the game. <laughs> it, and it was always out of nowhere. It wasn't like Paperboy, was it? No, no, no. Uh, that, that one you're gonna get hit by the car either way. No, it was something like this. It was a beat 'em up. Or was it maybe it was one of the Power Rangers games or something? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, kept getting hit by a car, and I was so frustrated. There was some cars on the bottom of the screen. They were, like, only on the bottom of the screen. They yes. Were, like, constantly down there. Yes. It was, it was. It was something like that. It kept coming, and it didn't matter. <laughs> I was trying to think. There's... I don't know. There's 
stuff shit in everything. Like renting all those things. There's like guys on bikes. Guys yeah, on bikes. Don't get me started on really anything, okay? Just let's leave that one. Let's leave that one alone. Oh man. The coolest part about that was Bret Hart. That's all I'm gonna say. Bret! <laughs> Oh shit, see I thought I was you again too. I dude that move is so cheap where they come up behind you and grab you, it takes a bar of life like every time. Yeah, it's, it is fucked up. I can't get not hit by that. I think one of these open. Oh, nope, you're right. Those cars fly out. <laughs> Watch for you. out for that. <laughs> I mean that's just like out of nowhere. Jeez. Dude, those guns, I always thought they looked like something out of Dr. Seuss. They're just crazy. <laughs> well, who's in the what's it called? <laughs> Oh, you tried to strike me. How dare you? Oh, <laughs> you never know. Oh, we're gonna get right where you're at. So it is kind of a. We talked. Uh, we mentioned earlier about. You know, the arcade and stuff. These are all awesome four player games, and none of them are four players on any system. Like, any. This one. Any fucking thing. Oh, it was. It kind of pisses you off, really. I mean, they're, like, how did they not have a great four-player... Yeah, they must not have been able to support it or something. I guess you're talking about the sprites. Like, there's no way to have enough enemies... Right. ...to fight four people. You know? Like, it's gotta be what it is. Technology holding it back. Ooh, use that to blow somebody up. Like those guys. Uh-oh. Ah, get out of there. What, what are some of them we can think of? Nightmare on Elm Street, one it's, of the very few four-player NES it's games. It's the only four-player platform on any cartridge. Now, something that gets confusing is Smash TV gets thrown in with the four-player uh, game somehow because you can plug four controllers in. Yeah. It, it, and Smash, it supports four controllers. Smash TV is a very, very, very unique game where... It, it, I don't know, back in the day, it's like, you don't have the information you really need all the time to play some of these games. Smash TV, if you've seen the arcade cab of it, the reason they allow you to play four controllers is so that you can set up multiple advantages. Uh, oh, you need it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. You can uh, set up multiple SNES, or, uh, NES advantages and play it just like you would on fucking arcade. And... You know, it's like most people don't know the control settings for some of these games they allow you. There are several gun games where you are basically required to hold the controller in your other hand. And stuff like that, you know, so it's Was like, that Operation Wolf? Yes. Like, you have to throw your grenades, select items, and stuff like that with your controller. So it's like, it's like your sidearm, you know, you shoot and then your controller does stuff. So, I don't know, it's really neat. I like going back and finding that kind of shit. What, <laughs> he just tried to fly slaughter you? That's just good. <laughs> Get him! I'm almost dead, bro! Save me! Save me! Bye bye! Punch that baby. Oh, right? I thought of Tom Tom was around, I thought about picking Popeye. <laughs> oh, for the high score? Yeah, yeah he, I mean, he's pretty good. Yes! So that's what we're talking about. Item resource management. Damn! Item resource management. Hi, April. Oh, the turtle man! I never noticed that growing up playing, uh, watching the turtle show, but they, they stacked people in that original cartoon. It's like. Oh, yeah. Kind of disturbing, Pretty really. Yeah, dude. Scene four. <laughs> Let's get to that secret factory. Ah! I didn't think this one was going to be much shorter. I like there's only a, like, a couple more levels. Really? If we already rescued April. Yeah. Well, a standard amount of stages in, in these old games is about five, six. Maybe. I'm gonna say six. This is gonna be getting. Well, three had eight, nine or something. Yeah. This is gonna be getting to the place. We're gonna go through the place, and then there'll be like a final boss. Fight. Do we have to go to the Technodrome, or is this before the Technodrome? I think this is like this is based on um, kind of like that movie that came out almost. We're like the first one. Yeah. With uh, Corey Feldman. <laughs> the recording game. I can always get the chorus confused. Night trap. <laughs> double. That's double switch, right? Really? Oh yeah. That's that. We gotta do that, dude. That. Oh, another car. Dude, that was a caddy, bro. What's really cool about double switch Same. is like the. I mean, the story in that is also really good. Oh, it'd be really cool. Oh yeah. 
We never really got that far in that one because we were, we would just get frustrated. <laughs> I beat it. You beat that one? Damn, bro. That was a tough game. He, he like car probably. What's his name? Turn like uh. There's a maintenance guy and in the beginning. Corey Haim wants you to like fuck him up all the time. And then he, <laughs> I bet he, does. he talks to you later and says that like Corey Haim's like crazy and all this stuff and then you turn on him and you start keeping him out of the control room. Yeah, because he said the other guy was bad, right? Yeah. And then you turn on Double him. Double switch. <laughs> yeah, dude. So yeah. It, 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 it's got a cool story and stuff. And there's like some cool chicks in it too. Oh, yeah, Cleopatra. Cleopatra. That's what I remember. There's some other hot girl too. <laughs> Luckily, our girlfriends don't watch this, or <laughs> we get <in> trouble. <laughs> watch 31 minutes. Right? They're not gonna watch a long play complete, so we can say whatever we want. <laughs> oh boy! Until they do, and then we're fired. Now they're gonna. Uh, now, <laughs> now we did it. <laughs> we're looking at <gonna> <laughs> Hey, you can't tell on us, or we can't keep playing the game <laughs> yeah, yeah. with all of you. Hey, you know, we have been getting a few more female viewers, so we want to say thanks, guys. Appreciate, Appreciate that. All of yeah. our subscribers, everybody who watches, it's... it's ah, you... Damn it! I actually got a, a, a trend in, uh, like, uh, time watching stuff. That's mystical, right? Like, we really appreciate all that. I hope that everybody enjoys everything. Uh, oh, you can get hit by the missile after. That's, that's the idea. I know, hopefully we're not too outrageous here and there. We get a little carried away, guys, but we're, we're just excited. Excited about gaming, life, hanging out. Something to be said about co-op gaming. Uh, you know, online gaming's motorcycle. It's good, and it's, it's got its own place, you know, but this is where it's at right here. I don't think I'd be having this much fun sitting at home, online, you know, playing ESO Absolutely or something. Not. I mean, it'd be fun, but... Oh, cars and a bike? Damn. I definitely don't. I mean, I've done it. I've done, I've done it both, so, you know, I'm like... Yeah. And it's, it's a different environment now, too, like we were talking about. In a vacuum, there are so many games, whereas before we maybe had, you know, a couple games we could play, and then there weren't a lot of options. But now, as a retro gamer, or, you know, even a newer gamer that wants to play retro games, you have almost infinite options. Yeah. It, it's nice yeah, to have, like... so many games out there. It, it's, I'm gonna die. It's nice that people have shed the light on it to where it's kind of like... You know, your playlist is so big. If you look at, you know, someone who plays over every system, it's like, you know, oh, you've played thousands of games. Thousands upon thousands. So many available that the gosh, we need a pizza. Come on, pizza. Oh, he just comes up and dumps me. Oh well, at least if there's a pizza. Man. And maybe you know, going back to what you were talking about, I bet you this game was pro tested and programmed for one player because there's only ever one pizza at a time. Yeah, I know. Like, That's what the hell is that? Oh. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Uh, and I was just wondering, because having a, a good second player, uh, I guess that we just, we've been so practiced and we've had so much time to play together that, you know, <laughs> sometimes oh, you, you play cheap. You do something with, you know, another player and it's like, you just don't, you aren't in sync. You know, it, it happens on all sorts of games. But you have to. Even when I, you know, even playing newer age games, FIFA 18 and stuff like that, it's like... We're not on the same page, it's just game up. Yeah. Like, there are certain guys... Did you just ride it out? Yeah, I did one. Oh, yeah, you do get turtle the freaking skateboards. Oh, this is sweet. What? This is a good game. Yeah, blew his ass up. I, I honestly don't see, remember I mean, this level. I'm enjoying this more than the, tur the Turtle Street. It one. felt like work, right? We were like, this, this is like grindy. It felt like, uh, you know, we. it's like we went into that one saying we're going to beat Turtle Street, blah, 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 you know, play through it, and it just felt like this grind. We went into this one going, we're going to get as far as we can. It's been a while. We just want to make a good video. And here we are, you know, just like actually playing very well. We've got multiple continues left, so I'm assuming uh, we got two. Yeah, I'm assuming like we're we're looking good, brothers for gaming. <laughs> uh, so just looking at you, brothers for gaming. 
something like that. Yeah. The looping jump kick is the looping back one. That's like key to winning the game if you get in a pinch. Sometimes you can't afford to take those little bits of damage that you're going to take trying to go toe to toe. <laughs> right there, the guy just punched me in the face. Ah! It's funny, it's, it's bombs this way is more challenging than you think to, uh, to try to put, you know, a really authentic quality play and, you know, still have, like, what kind of leisure radioactive uh, man. You know, like leisure and fun and, and laid back, but it's like, you don't have to beat a lot of these games and stuff to do helpful ah! and showing. It's fucking hard. Dude, it's, it's hard enough to do commentary and game at the same time. Yeah, this is, Not this, to is mention... this one's a live one, so we basically, we, we sat down and we just wanted to bring you some reaction and, and get as far as we could, but like I said, we were, we were showing you a lot of content and just having a really, really good time, so... The turtle van. Oh, he tried to drive off the bridge. He saw that right there. Right. right that's right. We can do this. We uh, I think we have enough continues here to make it to the end of the game. We'll see. I mean, Splinter's right there. We got what? How many more fights? Oh, that's that probably almost it. Yeah. Uh, that's right. I'm baking another free guy here in a minute. Oh, this was a tough level. Yeah, that's why I'm fr fucking frustrated to go through it. <laughs> that's alright, you know, we got some good stuff, I think, on the front end, so we can just cut in this next boss fight. Oh, yeah. Take a moment. You guys will probably never see this. <laughs> but we won't say anything in case we forget. Just take a minute to just recoup, regenerate, rejuvenate. <laughs> yeah, we gotta. I was just wanna listen to the Burger <laughs> Child audio. Is it synced? No, I haven't. I haven't put it together yet. But I just, it, it, I was just having a lot of fun. Was it you and CB? Yeah, and we, I didn't do any um, like intro or anything. Cause I was trying, like how I said, you know, we'll, we can make like a say, you know, thing and do an intro and then just cut into the start. So it was just basically him just talking and being funny. It was just, it was good. Did he actually get some commentary in there? Because oh, yeah, a lot he, of time he's oh, silent. He, no, no, he talked, like, he, because, really, I don't even know if he knew I was recording a lot. So. Well, yeah, that was the point of it. I just said, hey, if it's murder time, I'll get you. We'll just keep playing it. And uh, he went on, like, three runs, and he got about, like, 145 or something else. Did all right. He didn't even cycle the game twice. He like kept getting to the sixth level. And the pressure's on uh, uh, twice, and he just kept. He can't like, perform when the pressure's on. I guess. It wasn't even really on. It was pretty pressure free. Was he recording, going for high score, trying to get it complete? It was pretty high score. He could. I mean, it's better than we ever probably posted. Well, I want to just say he's probably the greatest burger time player to ever live. I don't. I mean, currently. I'm sure some weirdo back in the day that that's all the game they played on the arcade is super good at it. Uh, remember the, there's some, remember, there's some guy that has quite a few points, but... <laughs> but is that, that's the only game he plays is what I'm getting at. Oh, I bet probably. you, like, you know, Cockback can play a lot of games. He's a master of off-road, like, that guy's a maniac. Yeah, see, I don't know why he's so good at that we, game. We, we gotta keep coming up with all those titles and then we gotta do that thing and make him play I was it. so surprised he didn't want to play Home Alone. He's really weird about that. It's burger time, but you're Macaulay Culkin instead uh, of the burger. He, he doesn't. He doesn't see it that way. Yeah, he's, he's just know. scared. Yeah, pretty much. He's just afraid. I don't think he likes a lot of stuff that has that little air. Like I showed him how no I was air. how I was running yeah. uh, balloon fight, mm -hmm. and he was like trying it one time. He's like, all right, nope, I'm like not gonna play that. He's like, you seriously can't miss, like, I was like, yeah, you can't miss any blooms for, like, at least the first, until you change colors, like, three times. <laughs> yeah, no way. I was like, you literally have to, or you'll never get that high score. And that's all we, that's all we care about, is the high score. Can't get blooms. Well, okay. that's... Sometimes you can't get a high score, so you just have to beat the game. Yeah. But, I mean, you can get a high score in this one. Shit, I'm almost there. Kind of. I guess we'll see who else the high score <laughs> 
That is that is pretty cool that it carries over. Con continuation. So that guy just came up out of nowhere pretty much and grabbed him. I mean, when all said and done, I should get one more guy. Maybe, I don't know if there's that much stage left. Yeah. If we have to continue again, which we have one, I will. Nice. Nice. I almost don't know if you got any points for that, though. Using the, uh, barrel blow it up. Yeah, the oh. really so... Oh, man. Ah. Oh. 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 Yeah, this, this level will really ramp up the difficulty. This one, though, we can just cheap it out. So this is kind of like the end bosses of, uh... Or, uh, of three, though, yes. where you're like, they start doing like, the mini screen. bosses. They come out of the screen. You know how they were sending them out of the helicopter and shit. Uh huh. The elevator, the infamous elevator level. Fire! Fire! I can't hit mine! He's on a looping pattern that I can't seem to figure out. Maybe it was too high. There we go. I need to try to live. Yeah. Well, see, I, I, we still haven't got to have our test. I, I don't know if you can steal, so realistically, I need to go. <laughs> well, I meant to the pizza, which is right over here. Right on the next screen over. Right, I think. So many. Oh, no, that's right. We gotta fight these fucking annoying things. If we go all the way forward, we can just. Oh no, he's going the other way now. Nice. All right, it's right there. I gotta grab it. Awesome. It's gonna be heavily on you. So a jump kick, this guy is what you're saying. The rolling cheapo uh, jump kick because he's so strong. Don't fight this guy in a corner. <laughs> Did zero not count? No, uh, zero guys might count, yeah. Tag team back again. I just so low. Uh, Like you almost can only just get one hit in. This guy we might be able to kite a little better. He seems to have more aggro patterns. He's chasing, he's tracked on you because of your life total probably. Now he's on me. This is like the first guy that we could maybe have kited. I mean, we can try it because he's going to be on me. Why is he so strong? There he goes. Well, you're drilling it, dude. That's back like back in the day, right there. How we had that shit. I don't think so. So basically, you're just, I mean, it's one of those things where you're going to be playing this whole next stage by yourself. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like, really trying to key on. Thank you, my totals. Ninja magic? This is what Ninja November is all about. Something called Ninja magic. Dude, this feels like Double Dragon right here. I remember this. This is like the last level. Is it? Potentially, yeah. Oh, 
Well, shit, man, if you get to 600 points, <laughs> you might just be in here. Yeah. I don't know. Who's your ninja skin? I don't have any guys to throw out. I'm sure they will. It seems to be like infinite amounts of these fuckers. Oh, what is this? A homunculi, dude. With ninja stars? This is what they're talking about, ninja magic. Yeah, these guys are straight out of Double Dragon, I want to say. I feel like there weren't a ninja gate. Oh yeah, maybe that. Some game that we've played. Do we play too many games? Is that is that what's on the question here? You're telling us to get lives, people? <laughs> is this something we've always done? Some people build model trains or I don't know, read lots of books or something? Yeah, right. We just like to beat video games. I read lots of manuals. <laughs> ah, how many of these buggers are there? <laughs> this is another variation of turtle power. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now the first level's uh, soundtrack was rather loopy, and uh, I thought. We weren't going to be getting a dynamic on which one? Back to the first level of this game. It was just uh, like turtle power over and over again, basically. I'm like, okay, we're in for a rough one. <laughs> but at least they toned it up a bit. Yeah, it, it, you know, Konami, Konami Ultra, dude. They don't think they gotta do that. So I was thinking, you know, is there something else we like to talk about around here? Is why, with the resurgence and popularity of retro gaming, all these indie development studios, why can they not create, let's say, a game just like this? Why can't they? Is it, is it because this was cutting edge back then and all the resources were put into building this game, so no studio will ever have that kind of development funding ever again to make a side-scrolling beat-em-up? Like, is that just what it is? Like, yeah, I kind of wonder. the time? Because you think about how cool, like, you could take this and actually make it four players. Like, and not just make the emulator, you know, like, rewrite this game. Like, remake it. Re redo it. Well, yeah, you can do it to where you get maybe, like, power-ups or level up a little bit. More like Gauntlet or something. Legends, you know, where you're, you're beating them up. But you're getting items and coins and shit. Make it more appealing to a modern generation, right? Well, yeah, but you think, uh, you can make, um, yeah. Like, make, even if it was a lot more like this, you could make it, and nowadays I'm sure you could put like 30 sprites on there and fucking make it like easier to kill them, you know? Yeah. More like realistic, like you're beating up super fast tons of these guys. Send in more foot! <laughs> <laughs> Just like beating them. Throwing them, you know? Cooler animations, like. Some new sets. It just. Oh, really? I was like, what's happening? Some bullshit. Okay. Ah! Ah! Really? Okay. Alright, that's about what I expected. Oh my gosh, it's a Toyga! It's gonna be like the last boss fight. Oh no, we're fighting tigers! Why? Why didn't it have to be tigers? This can't be good. It had to be tigers. It had to be. That's one vicious tail you don't want to get hit by. No! Batter up! Those only work for so long. He's after you. Yeah, he's tracking you. Yep. Get over here. Why is he? Why is he coming different places now? Oh boy, he's after you, bro. This guy is very tough. Oh, he lights on fire even. All right, I mean, we're about to face another. Yeah, we go. Might need it. <laughs> Yeah, try, I was gonna say, try to stay on the same. Oh, oh but he got gotcha. you. I can't still. Okay, good. I figured you could. I didn't, I really didn't know. I figured you could. It's Konami. First of all, what Ultra, but, you know, think Contra, think, uh, games where you can steal each other's guys. Contra's the only one coming to mind for some reason right now, but there's gotta be others. Cool. So now, yeah, gives us a shot to beat this, and... If we don't, I will get a free guy on our last continue. So right. it gives us the kind of like the shareable lives again. <laughs> like we just didn't hit him for like 30 seconds. No, we didn't. 
I was, well, I was almost thinking one guy could stand behind and pick up the, the trash if he jumps over. Ah! <laughs> That's one mad cat. Is that Ziggy just coming at you? Jesus. That again. That was a kind of a cheap fight, but that's okay. But we have stupid more spikes. What is this? Scorpions? Tigers followed by scorpions. That's not right, man. Watch out. Oh boy. Okay, I can't get him. These might be the guys you want to yeah, just get off the screen and try to keep them out. Yeah, that's it. Get him up here. It's like any of the robot mobs, you just want to fight them at the edge of the screen as best you can. Yeah, you got him, dude. Huh? No more of these guys. So yeah, technically we may not make it to the end of this one. I know. I kind of do good. That's okay. We're still farming points. Yeah, I gotta try to get a, if I can get a pizza. We need at least have one full guy. Yeah, uh, this might be one of the uh, where you find like a mini box. I don't have to find a real box. And then yeah. go to the boss stage. I, that's what I'm hoping, and then maybe we that's what we need. Him. On the boss. Ah, oh, I knew he was gonna hit me with that shit. It's like they let you hit him once, and then they let you hit him again, and then they do that shit. Oh, 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 this is not looking good. Ooh, I can get hit one more time. Get punched in the head. That means I can get punched one more time. Come on, pizza. No. Yeah, I it. Pizza! Ah! They got me! Fuck! Oh, I'm trying to see what we're up against. Yeah. Well, maybe it's just a stage and we can, uh... True. True, 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 true. Continue on the harder stage. There it is, of course. You had to assume it was close. So <laughs> you know it was right there. It's like oh dying at the God. last screen before the end of the level. It'll be adventure time. Adventure Island. <laughs> so is that we gotta make it past the wall, people. Oh, I could have saved it to fight the boss with. So that's good to know. Is this the straight up predator? I think so. Oh no, it's the uh, samurai ghost guy. Yeah. Dude, if you can cheap this out, it's gonna be hard. I will give you. I don't know. A Dr. Pepper. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the back sash, so you want to be way out in front of it. The moves. Throw the storage moves. <laughs> oh, the head got me. Every once in a while, oh. the rotation has to be Brothers Forge Gaming. Ah! That's bullshit, because he's almost dead. Yeah, he is. Oh, the head got me again. What's up? No! Oh! Woo! Oh my goodness. What other boss? Oh goodness gracious. Well, wow, that was like a fatality right there. Did you see that shit? That was. Look at a torso that was good, left That was good, my friend. We are going to the top. I knew it. There it is!
This is almost identical to the Turtles 3. It's so weird. It, it's going to be eight levels. Longer. It's going to be eight levels of madness. Three continues. Yeah. That would be just so stupid at this point in the game. <laughs> that, he just gets to hear us do some curse words and call it good. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine you know, how easy it is to do that on Ghosts and Goblins? Because yeah. you have to select down to continue. What were they thinking when they did that? There it is. Free guy. I let you get far on the way Ah! Yeah, go up and then over. Shit. Yeah. There it is. I know, I might want to get like some more kills. We'll watch out for what that happened last like... time. I mean, I'm sure it's fine. Well, I just because you, you could get there, probably. Oh, I will. It's only 40 enemies. I mean, I've, how many enemies did I kill before I, you know, I had to die there on that last run? <laughs> That's one thing I do remember uh, playing this as, you know, as a youngster. You would, we would fight. Maybe not so much you and me, but uh, my buddy Nate. He would like fight me over getting the last hit, so he'd give you all the points. <laughs> it was funny. Like really wanted those points, <laughs> dude. I guess it really doesn't matter because I can steal your guys, kind of thing. It's true. Yeah, but if you get a guy, yeah. I mean, that's all that matters. It's like we—you have to get 41 enemies before we get to the boss. I'm also just progress it all the way forward, yeah. and maybe, well, maybe you don't have to kill those. I was just being dumb. Ah, shit, but yeah. Could've got some. Yeah, it's all good. Like I said, there's plenty of enemies. Most already up to 600 points right now. As, it is. We, as we live and breathe. I, you know what? As we were talking about earlier in the beginning, of this video, I'm surprised we actually made it this far, man. Like, I didn't think we'd be able to make it. Because we had we had done a video on this last year, right? And I mean, you got a couple stages in, right? But no, yeah, we're, yeah, we're like this. blowing this game up. Yeah, I'm actually kind of just really, I was like, oh yeah, you know, we made it three or four stages, but now I'm like, wow, we were pretty bad, because, uh, <laughs> no <laughs> of the stages. Yeah. No, we were really thinking there wouldn't be eight stages. Yeah, here we are thinking this would be, like, shorter. I mean, it's probably going to be a little shorter, but it's not going to be, like, epically shorter. I was thinking, no. like, oh, 30 minutes? Call it good. Yeah. You never know what you're getting into when you bust out a Nintendo game. Sometimes it could be over in 10 minutes. Sometimes yeah, right? it's a couple hours worth of play. That's something oh. I, yeah, I want to address in a, in a few other things. Is just what... You know, with all the hype and stuff, what are you really looking to get into when you start playing Nintendo? And, I mean, that's basically... You know, depending on what games you pick up, you're, you're short entertainment. Or, like, you know, you're not picking up long-term stuff. You're picking up repetitive high score, uh, you know, best run type stuff, unless you're, you know, getting a few of the RPGs. There are quite a few, and the ones we didn't even really weren't aware of growing up, like the Might Magic and the Uncharted Waters on NES, Gym Fire, there's some crazy game. Was that one you got? The Bandit Kings or something? Yeah, the Koei strategy game and stuff, yeah. but, uh, Ghost Lion. And, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, the classics growing up was what? Dragon Warrior and Zelda. Those were like Final Fantasy. Yeah, but who like... even knew that there was Dragon Warrior 4? Well, exactly. Yeah, like that. I'm talking about like the first one. Yeah, I'm talking the first Dragon Warrior, you've got Zelda. Later on, we got Star Tropics in the mix, which was good, but, you know, if you're used to fantasy RPGs, you might not have liked it right out the gate. Nice cross there. Almost done! Just, there's a surprising amount of variety on the NES, and I don't think, I honestly think it's the most variety you're ever going to see on any single system. It doesn't, you you want to, if you name a kind of game on the NES, they've probably got one. You know, it's not, uh, there's no shortage of titles to play. Mom Pizza. See one? Uh-oh, elevator time. Think of the elevator <sighs> pizza. Use the pizza. We both. Oh shh! Bolt Marvel Madness bully time. Who makes Marvel Madness? Oh, that's a grab. I want to say so. Uh oh, code, code splashing. We gotta hurry up and beat this game. We, might, just, we might not see it. Fucking killed me. What? I knew it. Arr! 
since Turtles in Time. I mean, that's hard to believe because it's one of the more popular children's, you know, franchises out there. It, it has received several reboots in the last decade. I mean, you think they would make something... Why would they not make Turtles game? In the new gen, they would make it something else. It'd be like MMO online. Like, yeah, yeah. Turtles. And... Anything good, though. There just hasn't even been one to say it's good. It's sad because the Turtles are really fun. Fun... More good times. I've got. You know, there's movies, action figures. There's already a franchise, right? It doesn't make sense why they wouldn't have a big game. Ever, you, they should have ever seal Megan Fox. They should be like, we're going to have him be beat him up, yeah. where you beat him up and have like cutscenes, <laughs> have him be from the movie, and just play through the movie. Dude. Four player beat him. Xbox One. And go. Dude. Make it happen, guys. Don't be retarded. I don't want to play the 8th version of games I already own. <laughs> you just want to see Megan Fox and some SMB. Uh-oh, a red guy this time. Same same mechanic. Probably get him out of the corner, though. I know it's that same door bar. Hell, maybe he'll just come after me. Guide him out. Now he's after you. I'm just breakdancing. If you know anything about the Ninja Turtles, they like to breakdance. I think you have to be Mikey, though. <laughs> oh, man, he's just coming after me. Maybe I should let you handle it. Well, you have all that life. I went over there and he swatted me, like, twice. <laughs> Maybe we get full life on the next day. Yeah, I know. I'll go until I get lower. Yeah. And then I'll go after it. But until then, I'm just gonna hang out up here. <laughs> Donnie doesn't have the same limp stick in this one as he does in the other one. It's, it's pretty hilarious, actually, the comical side view like this when he's just chilling with his bow staff out. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Roll it, roll it, roll it! Yeah! No, we haven't fought Shredder yet. We haven't fought Krang. Uh, and there may be more stages than this. Oh yeah, listen to that. <laughs> Explosions. That's how you do it. It's funny that those guys are like, I don't know, because a lot of some of the enemies you, I don't know, you couldn't cheap them out as bad, but shit, they're, they're able to cheap them out pretty good. I wonder if this is the same boss fight. It may, may very well be. That's because he's shooting lasers, huh? Instead of shooting his stupid hand. His kick was vicious in the other one, though. The lasers stopped the jump kick. So that was like their defense, kind of, but... I think we fight him and then Shredder comes out. Just like the other one? Yeah. Only it's not Super Shredder, like we already fought Shredder once in the other one. Right. By then. Ugh, we didn't both think about that. I wonder if he splits apart in this one like the other one. No. 
Oh, he's doing the rocket fist. Something too that I'm just now not noticing, but mentioning, you can't select the different turtles. At least, I don't think like you can it, it, let us ever. You're not continuing. Or anything. No, and that's what I'm saying. In the three, at least you could pick different guys. Like, hey, you know, we need this special. I guess because they don't feature feature specials either in this one. <laughs> could we have just been jump kicking him the whole time? Well, he shoots lasers and kick. There's, there's things he does uh, to, yeah. to get... I was kind of doing that, but... Yeah, he'll still get you. I got lasers. So, he I'm doesn't not, have a phase two in this. I am just I was just trying to get as far as I could... You know, <laughs> I want to get this done. We've gotten this far, <laughs> and I know that we might not even get life. No, when we, we fight Shredder, and he just comes won't. out of there. Yeah. So... But he's not super this time. And I doubt he has wall mechanics. Oh, he's, oh my gosh, he's two shredders. He's two shredders. That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> Why is he two shredders? I can't remember if one of them's like not real. Yes, the one with the uh, uh, helmet knockoff I think is the one we want to target. I could be wrong. No, because I think that's part of the, uh, yeah, like the movie. Or it's the helmeted guy. Oh. So it should be, if it stays the same, it should be this one. Phase two. <laughs> Watch out for phase two. You guys, it is like Dark Sith Lord shit. <laughs> Jedi fucking shit right there. Oh, uh, it's got. Oh man, that does not good. Oh, and he died! You see what it turned me into a baby again? Did it like instantly kill you? No, I was almost dead, but. Uh, it, I mean, it didn't help that he turned me into a turtle and then he got, I got hit in the head with a sword. That was not part of the plan. This is a tough fight. Like I'm considered I'm concerned right now. I'm very concerned, dude. <laughs> oh wow, I thought it was you. I was over there jump kicking in the corner. I didn't <laughs> see that in the fucking replay. <laughs> Watch out, he's gonna, he's gonna cast. Oh yeah, I didn't think he could. But I guess he can. Maybe he just tricks me. Oh god. You do not want to get hit by that. Oh, I got hit by it. It does, it instantly kills you. It instantly fucking kills you. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought you had more like So how do you avoid it? <laughs> you do it when he backs up. Oh, well... Alright, so as you can see, we did fall a little bit short on our first run, but we didn't want to leave you hanging. Uh, the Shredder fight was was a pretty tough fight, um, but we wanted to show you uh, the ending, so we did play all the way through again, um, got all the way back to Shredder, and, you know, gave it another shot. Um, he was still incredibly tough, and... We, uh, basically, I think this was our last guy's last continues. We, we got to, back to Crane with, like, multiple continues. We might have even got all the way there without continuing, I can't remember. But, um, yeah, we're just trying to get this, this Shredder fight down was, was really tough. And we ended up, I don't know, we had to go with a lot of jump kicks and a lot of, uh, kind of evasive, cheesy tactics that we, we don't normally like to use, but sometimes you just gotta get the job done, so. But this was a pretty good showing. If you're just 
skipping to the end to see how to take down the Shredder. Uh, this is definitely one way. I think I get him jammed here in the corner and go to town with jump kicks while basically Mr. C uh, kites the the non the non real version. So it's all about doing that damage to the real Shredder. See, this is kind of actually the first time I really got to watch this. It was uh, an intense moment when you're trying to do it uh, live and everything. So you don't really pay attention. Like, I wasn't watching what Mr. C was doing. I was um, pretty much just focused on continuing that same jump kick. But there you go. The true real ending finale, Turtles 2 done. Uh, Turtles 2 Arcade on the NES. So this has been Brothers Forge Gaming um, completing another game for Ninja November. Another good Turtles game. So I hope you enjoyed. Keep watching. Watch all these cool credits and end scenes and uh, we will catch you next time.